Salazzle is back in NU now. We're going to be using it today. Got this fun team from Eternally. It's also got an Assault Vest Tariyama. More Zoroark because I do want to keep using this Pokemon to make sure that whatever I vote in the, you know, slate that we're doing is as informed as it can be. And, you know, more Rotom Mo because all I know how to use do is, you know, Bolt Switch and eat Hot Chip or something. <laughs> if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You do have an end to the goal of 10k subscribers. And if everyone watches this, subscribes, I will be like at least, I don't know, seven subs closer. And I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm lead Rotomo. Also, leave a leave a like. That helps. Helps a lot. <laughs> but I'm lead Rotomo. Actually, you know what I need to do? I should, um... What even is there? You know, I'll disguise it as Yama. I think that works. I'm just trying to think about, like, how Rart could help out Lazzle. In this game, it's a little less clear, because I don't think I actually beat Blissey with it, you know? So, I'm going to disguise Rark as Yama instead, and maybe try to lure in, like, Fox. I feel like that could work out pretty decently. The only awkward part about it is, you know, I'm using this defensively. It could be kind of tough. Now, they lead off a pass. I could leave Storm. I could definitely just leave Storm turn one. I could also U-turn, or not U-turn, Volt Switch into my Quill, and just force this to Helmet Chip. The only, yeah, I was going to say, the only part of, that I don't love about going for set, yeah, Leaf Storm would have one-shot, by the way, I think. Been close. What I wouldn't like about going for Leaf is if they go out to, like, Serena, or even Blissey, it's just a lot of momentum sap. Instead, though, they're Life Orb Simeon, that has never been used before, wow. But, we get a lot of Chip. This mod is in Zoroark range now, and we also know that I don't have to worry about it being Scarfed. So this gives Zoroark a lot more leverage. It gives my Salaz a lot of leverage, too. Which is perhaps even more important. So I'm going to make the... I was going to make the Rark play, but that is just way too greedy. I'm going to go Raja instead, because it's a better mid-ground. The, the plot is a little scary, because it could be Focus Blast. I'm going to be honest. It is a little bleak at that point. <laughs> <laughs> they Volt Switch to Life Orb on this too, so their entire team is Life Orb. It's going to be Life Orb Blissey as well, with Serene Grace, and I'm going to get Ice Beam Frozen. I've seen into the future. I already know. I, I know how that's how it goes. Now this turn kind of sucks. As they don't have a great switch in the... <laughs> the Nasp on Delphox. I'm going to go for Protect. Maybe they're a Scarf. Huh? Hey, y'all ever see a Delphox use Nightshade? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Nightshading the Copper Raja as well. Do you not have a fire move? Yo. <laughs> Help, I'm scared. <laughs> Am I allowed to stay in here? I don't know. What? Yo! Help. And then they fire blast and I die. What the hell was any of this? <laughs> None of this made any sense. Not a lick of sense. You could have. You went for Nightshade. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, this dude's goofy as hell. Widelands, too. He said, I have missed fire blast one too many times. That's insane. <laughs> what was the point? What was the point of any of that? Um, I'm a. I don't even think I need this spawn, but I'm gonna preserve it. Yeah, because they're gonna go for Psychic anyway. And I can just protect. You know what? No, I'm gonna slam. So they should hard switch. I don't think you bother volting. Oh, they could volt still. Yeah. I mean, the reason I say they shouldn't bother volting is because you're just gonna keep taking chip. I'm gonna slam there, get rid of the Psyvian. At this point, I think Lazzle. Is just what I'm gonna try and win with, and thankfully, I am sub nasty plot with Terra Ghost, so I can kind of style on their Blissey. I could go into Yama here and just CC, as I'm, you know, I'm thick fat. I shouldn't really not thick fat. I'm just I'm a heavy Pokemon. I shouldn't be worried about Slam. Earthquake does a lot. Wow, are you max speed? This dude's team is absurd. Like, he's got so many scary things. That could also just be normal Quake damage from, like, a max attack. And then, like, max special defense if you wanted to retain a bit of bulk. I don't even know if he's going to let me CC this. 
He's not. He's going to tear a ghost, which I think actually is fine for me. Like, legit, I think that's just fine for me. I'm going to spike up here because I want to make sure that Mon takes a bit more chip. As I go for another Earthquake, I will be I will be falling. Psych! Get played. It's worth doing that because now I get my Salazzle in. And I just Sludge Bomb. And if they go out into, um... What's it called? Blissey? Then it's free. Actually, I'll Flamethrower? Because if they went Raja for God knows what reason, I just want to make sure that I'm not giving them a little bit freer of a switch. I'm going to go Mo again because I think they're going to go for, um... Yes, they went for Zen Headbutt. You tell me how many Kaparaja you've seen use that move. I couldn't tell you. I don't know if that even... Does this mean it's choiced? No, he's not even choiced. What? The hell, man. I guess I could protect here, get a little bit of extra health back, and then go into my Quillfish. Yeah, I was going to say, even if they go for um, Zen there, it doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to go into my Rotomo and Bolt Switch. I Bolt Switch, I bring in my um, Salazzle, and I win the game. If they go Blissey, they could be Shadow Ball still. I believe, though, I win with Raja. So we're going to tear a Ghost. Should be good. <sighs> you know? What's this? This isn't a set. And they're... What the hell, dude? This isn't real! <laughs> they reveal Psychic Blissey, dude! This is not real! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> dude, I'm actually so confused. None of this makes any sense. I'm going to go for Protect here. This is such an unserious game. I'm actually just going to Heavy Slam again. It doesn't matter. This is such an unserious game, though. Oh my lord. Psychic Shadow Ball Blissey. I think this might have just been like Assault Vest Copper. I don't remember the damage I did, if I ever did damage to it, so it's hard to say. And I live the Surf. That's actually really surprising. I would have thought that could take me down. What the hell? I, I, I'll i be right back, guys. I'm gonna find my battle. Never mind. I don't get any break. <laughs> uh, this guy's got Meloetta, which is scary. Also, I ran into the Salazzle counter. Which kind of sucks. Definitely kind of sucks. But once again, I'm gonna lead Roe to Mo. Oh, you know what I could do? This is actually a good game to disguise Lazzle as Rark, because I could get a knock on Cole. And that's really helpful, of course, because then I get it to take Rock's chip. And if it's taking Rock's chip, well, long term it ain't checking no damn Lazzle. I'm letting you know right now. I think my... Yeah, I don't know how to win this game beyond looking for a Lazzle late game. Oh, you have... You just got... No, I got the primitive urge to go for a, uh... What's it called there? A trick? But I won't. <laughs> Will not do it. The body press. Look at all the damage I already have on this mon. This is incredible. And I'm gonna go for taunt. I am the goat. They also Terra watered. Unfortunately, they flame. <laughs> they flamethrower burned me immediately, guys. This is an insane series of plays. I see nothing that resists close combat, though. Oh! Well, don't worry, they get Flame Body immediately. Okay, yeah. And they were Helmet the whole time, so it didn't even matter that I, um... Or none of what I was saying even matters. Normally, I would stay in and go for, um... H voice. These people are so unserious. I have a c copper! Make a real play! Go for Psyshock! <laughs> ah, help me! <laughs> help me! This live's banger so far, though. Tom Foolery left and right. I live for it. I really do. No. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. What the hell is this? You're not gonna tell me Trailblaze Passimian is a thing! No! Going to you. Oh, this is so bad. Why is he still Trailblazing? This makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. No dollars or cents. This make- oh, Are you fucking kidding me, dude? 
I one shot if I hit that. This is so stupid. Ugh, well, I've lost. My opponent, I guess, is just better than me because they dodge a leaf storm. I have not hit a single leaf storm. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Absolutely bull game, man. That is not a real battle at all. This guy runs up with Trailblaze specific, which I'll admit I played pretty poorly around. But I'd like for you to answer. What am I supposed to do when my opponent dodges Leaf Storm? We saw the damage we did earlier with Volt. Different Pasimbian, so maybe they had different EVs, but I just doubt it. <sighs> very unserious. This live has been very low quality so far, but it's also been a lot of fun, so... You know what? We take it. These games are bad, though. <laughs> These are really bad games. <laughs> you know, I come in as I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to learn what Zoroark can do. But guess what? Zoroark does nothing! Especially if you miss, like, every move. Or not miss every move, um, mispredict every move. Because I've tried bringing it in on psychic attacks every time. Or in the case of that Delphox, you know, it went for Encore, so I'm like, alright, let's bring Rark in. Because if I protect, they, yeah, they could just Encore again. It's very free. And I just, you know, I'm not getting the, the that predicts correct. Anyhow, I know the team that my opponent's using. I'll lead off on my road and I will bolt switch. If this has been changed to be Scarf Flamingo Flamongo, I'm gonna be so sad. Just be banded. Hey. What's up? What's up? <laughs> well, we break the thing's illusion already, which is incredible. We now know the Rark is at 40. I mean, that makes it less annoying to play around. I got the Quill. Hmm. I'm gonna knock this because I want to get rid of this thing's item. Going mo, there's a choke. My opponent stays into spike more. It does kind of suck they're getting all these spikes though, because my um Yama's AV. They bring you and I will taunt. As they just quake. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. I'll go for some what? Hmm. Waterfall sucks to go for here because they have Flamingo. But I'm going to still Waterfall because I need Chip. And yes, okay, good. My opponent mispredicted a bit. Yo, look how little damage I'm doing. Ooh, look at that little flinch, though. Okay, give me a little bit more Chip. Yeah! Yeah, they tried to mis... Not mispredict. They didn't try to mispredict. They tried to predict a little bit too much there. So now I bring in my Salazzle. My Salacious Salazzle. I'm going to sub here. My Rark's already going to be revealed what it is anyway. So we sub, because we know they're going Gujras. They have changed the item on the Gujra. This used to be boots. I don't know what this thing's item is now, but this was boots and it no longer is boots. Um, I'm just gonna CC, I guess. They could go Quillfish. Ah, oh, you know what I bet they did? They changed it to Assault Vest because it's what everyone does. I don't know why people are so addicted to running Salt Vest on the spot. <laughs> but okay. Let's see, do they know? Do do they know? Do they know? We get rid of that, Mon. This is a pretty bad game for me, by the way. This is the Gujra again. I'm gonna knock you. Yeah, like, what? Wait, and they made it gooey as well. What the hell? Why'd you do this? <laughs> why did you do this, sir? Maybe they, because again, this is the team that um, Joey and I used. The exact same six. And I imagine they just took the team from the game, right? Who knows? Anyhow, Flamego comes in. It is looking very, very dire right here. They got a CC. Oh, they Brave Bird instead, which I think is a misplay, but it works out for him. So, Unfordingtons. I say it's a misplay, by the way, because I actually have a resist. Um, I, I mean, I have to go Raja here, and I have to protect. This is not looking good. This is looking kind of bleak. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I'm playing these games wrong. I think I'm just getting a bit of weird turns. That game, too. I mean, there's just nothing I can do about the miss. Leaf Storm miss is just kind of dire. They go immediately Quill. It's a good play. This is not even... Wait, what? 
Oh, it's the Zoro. Duh. I was getting really confused. I'm like, wait, where's the Intimidate? But, no. So we can just Heavy Slam here. They do knock me. We get rid of the Rark. I think this might still be a bit over, though. It's going to come down to the end. I'm going to Protect here. I go for CC. I'm going to Terra Poison. Hope I live this. Beautiful. A crit would have KO'd me. Jeez. <laughs> it just sucks out the Terra with this. I'm going to Protect again. There's no reason not to. I don't even remember what their Quillfish's health is at now. But now I get to go into my Mo. Volt there is a bit weird. I think he Leaf Storm always. Although Leaf Storm doesn't really do a whole bunch either for you, so maybe not. They go this. My opponent has not used their Terra. I have to keep that in mind. This could become a ground type out of nowhere. I think we Leaf Storm actually. Because we got we can't let him become a ground type. I'm here to let you know that right now. <laughs> uh, they go Mo. We do a million with Leaf Storm. Beautiful. I'm going to stay in and Leaf Storm again, because there's no reason not to. Oh, they, uh, they go for that. Okay. I go into you, I can just Sucker Punch. Nice. All right. We clutch it out. Now Quill comes in, I will just Dark Pulse. Very clutch. Oh, that Terra Blast crit was scary. That was very scary. Also, doing over half anyway is kind of insane, but... Oh. These games are stressful. I already have a headache today as I'm recording this, so if I sound just a little bit more amped up, it's kind of because I'm doing that to keep myself, <laughs> keep myself in a better mood. It's why that game, too, I kind of popped off on my opponent. Never in chat, because I'm like, there's no reason to do that to people in chat. As an aside, real quick, I don't know how many of y'all are like avid typers in your games. Just don't. It's cringe. Just, just don't. Keep it to yourself. But I like to do it for y'all verbally because I think it's just fun. <laughs> y'all know it's never meant seriously. Except when I say a play is bad and then I actually try to explain why it's bad. I think the informative stuff is okay. But yeah, just popping off on someone for the sake of popping off on them. L cringe. Now, my opponent's team in this game is annoying because they've got this Frost last lead. I guess I have lead Road a Mo and then Volt into my Lazzle. I think that's really all I can... Oh. Oh, wait, that was fine, actually. Hold on. And then we go Lazzle last. Yeah, so we just Volt here. Volt into Lazzle and a Flamethrower. We hope they just don't T-Wave turn one. As they set up a spike. Beautiful. I could even sub here and it's probably not a bad play. But yeah. So we get our last limit on the only one spike. Here, I guess they go Meloetta. I guess I could see Veluza come out too. I would say Meloetta because it's, yeah, it's a lot bulkier and I have to go Raja. I, I have tried to go Zoroark so many times. I'm not doing it again. and Because Rourke's actually good this game. Let's see. This is why. This is why I did not go Zora Works. I keep H voicing. <laughs> we get up our Stealth Rock. They go out to Big Pouty of Blaze. I've actually seen very little of this Pokemon. I used it a bit myself, and it's quite good. But it doesn't seem like too many other people are interested in it yet. So I'll go Quill here. Quillfish does nothing this game but check this Mon. Unfortunately for me, I do get the, um... I do get crit, but... So I'll get a lot of chip, and I can go for a Bar Barrage. Just generally nice mid-ground play. Poison? Yeah. So getting poison under a Rotom is quite nice. I'm going to just go my own Rotom. Yeah, on the Volt. And I should outspeed anything they go to. I could Volt switch on. I guess Mellow what I don't outspeed. Let's see. And yeah, they do take rocks, so it's not like they're boots. Hmm. I mean, I'll live any hit. Okay. Oh, they're Assault Vest as hell. Yeah. Never mind, guys. We've we, we've got the knowledge. We have the knowledge. I should actually be protecting here. They've not revealed U-turn, though, so I'm actually going to just Heavy Slam. HY Psyshock. Yeah. They go Pouty of Blaze there. No damage taken from Stealth Rock. No, they did. So this could be Choiced, is what my guess is. Maybe they're Scarf, maybe they're Banned. Given the damage on my Quill, my, I'm assuming Scarf right now. 
Which is fine, because I could set up on that with Salazzle. It just sucks that this Meloetta is <laughs> still at full. Like, I don't know if I could ever get a spike this game. I say EQ, I will go into my Rotom, and I will just Volt once again. If they go Meloetta, I bring out maybe Raja as they go out to you instead, which is probably the worst Mon they could have brought in because of this. I just get to go out to my Raja, protect, it's Mon dies. If they switch here, it's whatever. I'm a little worried about Veluza coming in here. But I think I can beat it. Okay, well, thankfully they did not even go into Veluza there. And I'll just sack Quillfish. As I CC, you know what? I'm going to get one more spike up if I can. I want this Mon as low as it can be, because I showed y'all the Zoroark Calc versus it. Blood takes hits way too well, and I will taunt here just in case. Uh, I got to my Salt Vest Hariyama here and throw off a knock. If they Terra Fairy, they're not going to KO me with anything. And if they Nasty Plot with Terra Fairy, we'll have Bullet Punch to hit him the next turn, so we'll be okay. And yep, they go for this. They get crit and Bullet Punched for their uh, troubles. And they have no more Terra, so the Veluza's not going to be tanking a sucker from Zoro. Very nice. I think we got this game. Because from here, yeah, it's just very trivial. This Salazzle's done nothing the whole live, by the way. Like, actually, zero. They sack the Tauros. I, I don't know why. I'm a Gozoro arc. We finally get a play right! Let's go! And now my Rark will finish the game off. Beautiful. They were Assault Vest like we thought. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Much better game for Zoroark. That time it actually was looking like a real Pokemon. Because you know what? I've not had the best success with Zoroark when I use non-specs. <laughs> I feel like literally every time I brought this mod to a game, if it's not specs, it does absolutely nothing. Which has definitely slanted my perspective of how good it is. And I want to, again, I want to learn. I want to see if I, you know, think this mod's actually broken. Or if, you know, I think it's just overrated. For, you know, etc, etc. Anyhow, this guy kind of has a stallish team. I mean, like, Ditto, Knackle, Cryo. Kind of stally. Very weak to my Zoroark, though. I'm actually so weak to it, I'm leading with Zoroark. Um, yo, what if I disguised it as Rotom Mo this game, though? That could be kind of cool. Or, I still just disguise it as Lazzle, because that way I can get a knock. <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, you think this is my Zoroark? Who knows? Hey, I'm a knock here. I don't... Can they transform, even? Or is it only Imposter blocked? I don't remember. Let's learn. <laughs> That's incredible. They go Karagano, they get obliterated by that knock. Woo! Youch! <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker. Yeah, I got on a battle. I'm keeping that disguise intact. Let's go! Oh, that's such a great start. That is such a great start. I'm knocking this. I am ta- If they want to break my own thing, I don't care. Getting the knock is worth it. Okay, they one-shot my shit. Okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. But getting the knock on this is great, because it means that I can actually break it with my, um... My guy. So, I'm gonna set up a little spiky spike. My opponent is curing my salt. Understandable, have a nice day. I will waterfall you. As my opponent does, does not respect the threat of losing their entire Pokemon. Not at all. Not an ounce of respect shown there. That's incredible. I'm gonna go Raj here. I will protect. I, I need to see what your Terra is. Okay, never mind. I will not be seeing what their Terra is, because they went for Wish. So I will set up Stealth Rock instead here. As I go out to Primate, I will Heavy Slam. Oh, that does so little. I will Trick here. This one could sweep me, by the way. Like, very easily. Very, very quickly, and with complete and utter ease. Thankfully, they Drain Punch, so now I get to go Salazzle and Sub. And I will be plotting. I will be getting nasty on them. Yes. Sleeper Agent Salazzle. He has arrived. And what's really nice too, is they can't even copy me. They go Knackle, they get blown back. They go Primeape, they're just gonna, you know, get Sludge Bomb. This is probably Scarf. 
so it can revenge me? But see, this is what we're trying for. Oh, they're Boots Hoopa. Interesting. This won't one-shot, but it'll do a lot. Yeah. Nice heal. up. Stay in Flamethrower you again. And I still have my Hariyama. Like, I checked this. Hopefully they Flamethrower. God, look at all those moves it has. They Flamethrower to get a crit, of course. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm just gonna knock. If they go Primeape, then, um... It's okay, I think? Because it doesn't have the Violet anymore, so I can go Raja. Maybe I should have switched there. I hope they go hard into that. I will be spamming my Heavy Slam, though. We saw how much we did to that Mon. And, yep, they misplay there. They had to go for, um, the Primeape and just hope, I think. But it might have been over no matter what. I'll protect here, just so I'm at full. Yes. Primeape has been avoided. I think that's a great one to end it on, though. We got our Salazzle game. Even a bit of a Zoroark game, admittedly. We were able to knock the Cryogonal off Rip. And then we were able to get rid of Knackle. And because it didn't have that Avilite, it wasn't able to tank a plus two hit from Lazzle. I think this game really shows you how this team's supposed to work. And how that core is supposed to function. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Once again, shoutouts eternally for the team. I do recommend that you play some menu if you're not playing right now. This tier shift changed the tier wildly. There are still some consistencies with previous NU, but it, for the most part, is just a new metagame entirely. So, play NU. You got teams in my descriptions. You know, use any of them. They're all good. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.